In this module, we will discuss the ice and rain protection systems, including windows, nacelles, wings, ice detector, and probes. Windows and probes are electrically heated to prevent icing. Leading edges of nacelles and wings use bleed air for heating. Let's first look at ice and rain protection features for windows. Window ice and rain protection controls are located on the overhead panel. The window heat on position provides automatically controlled electrical power for windshield heat. The ICAS advisory message heat window is displayed if an overheat occurs or the respective window heat switch is off. The respective inoperative light illuminates in both cases and power is removed from the window. Pushing a window heat switch off resets the window heat system. After a 10 second cool down period, pushing the respective window heat switch on restores electrical heat. Windshield air switches are located on the captain's and first officer's auxiliary panels. Positioning the captain's or first officer's windshield air switch to on provides conditioned air for defogging the respective windshield. Heat for defogging the captain's and first officer's side windows is automatically available whenever electrical power is on the airplane. Question. Answer C is correct. Windshields are provided with two speed wipers. A washer switch spring loaded to off is provided for each windshield. Holding a windshield washer switch on directs fluid to the respective windshield. Fluid is dispensed while the switch is held on. The windshield washer reservoir is located behind the door in the booked storage area on the captain's side panel. The reservoir has a sight gauge which indicates the refill level. Now let's discuss anti-icing for the nacelles. Icing may be encountered if total air temperature is 10 degrees centigrade or below and visible moisture is present. Nacelle anti-ice should be used in flight or on the ground if icing conditions are present. Nacelle leading edge anti-ice uses bleed air as a heat source. The nacelle wing anti-ice control panel is located on the overhead panel. A three-position nacelle anti-ice switch is provided for each engine. I know you won't believe this, but with a switch on, the nacelle anti-ice for the respective engine is on. With a switch off, the nacelle anti-ice for the respective engine is off. With a switch in auto, nacelle anti-ice operates automatically in response to inputs from the ice detection system. Now let's look at wing anti-ice.
A single wing alternate action anti-ice switch is located below the nacelle anti-ice switches. Wing anti-ice can be used only in flight. Anti-ice is effective only with the leading edge flaps retracted. Only the leading edges outboard of engines 2 and 3 are heated. Air ground logic automatically closes the wing anti-ice valves on the ground. The WAI valve ICAS advisory message is displayed to indicate switch and valve position disagreement. The ICAS advisory message WAI valve is displayed if there is a disagreement between the switch and the valve position. Now let's look at the ice detectors. The ice detection system has two probes, one located on each side of the forward fuselage. They detect the presence of ice on their surfaces. When sufficient ice is detected, system logic activates nacelle anti-ice. When the system determines nacelle anti-ice is no longer necessary, it is deactivated. The respective ICAS caution message, icing nacelle or icing wing, is displayed if any nacelle or the wing anti-ice is selected off and the ice detectors detect the appropriate level of icing. The respective ICAS advisory message, anti-ice nacelle, or anti-ice wing is displayed if a nacelle or wing anti-ice is selected on and the total air temperature is greater than 12 degrees centigrade or the ice detector no longer detects ice. The ICAS advisory message ice detectors is displayed if a fault occurs in both the left and right ice detectors. When the cell anti-ice is on, continuous ignition is provided for the respective engine, and NAI is displayed to the left of the respective N1 indication. In the normal mode, the electronic engine control automatically adjusts N1 to compensate for anti-ice bleed uses. The ICAS advisory message NAI valve is displayed if there is a disagreement between the commanded and actual position of the valve with the engine running. Now let's discuss ice and rain protection features for the various probes. Any icing of the pedostatic probes an angle of attack vanes is automatically provided at engine start. No crew action is required. Anti-icing of the TAT probes is automatically provided in flight. The ICAS advisory message HEAT followed by the name of the probe or vane is displayed if power is lost to the probe or a heater fails. In icing conditions, the accuracy of information from the affected probe or vane may be questionable. The ICAS advisory message, Heat TAT, displayed on the ground, means the respective TAT probe heater is powered. 